All right, um, I know I look like royal shit. I do. I look more scary than my Oogie Boogie video. But, um, I had to get something off my chest, I guess. So far this year, I have known five people to die. And it's an upsetting number, and it's an upsetting amount, and it shouldn't even be one person, in, in my opinion. Six, if you include my grandmother, who I don't count. Um, my friend David, that I've known for a while, I guess we weren't really friends, he's more of a, somebody I knew, really, in my mind, well, but I guess, didn't really, just like I don't really know anybody very well, um, and Brian Peacock, whose heart failed, Colrodia, who I just knew from childhood, you know, hanging out with Rain. An exchange who I didn't really know at all except in passing, so he became a phantom, almost a phantom in photo class, and then he's gone. You're never going to see him again. And then... My grandmother died. That was the first real funeral I'd ever been to. And... You know, a little girl that I had in my Sunday school class. Mm. Well, I guess it wasn't really my Sunday school class. It was my mom's that I helped out with. And one of my friends, oh, I guess my friend, at Christ Lutheran, the school I went to, his little sister. I just feel like, like life is so small. It's so quiet. It's a whisper. It's a flower. It's delicate. It's gone. I mean... I can't, I can't even comprehend how quickly life passes. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of slasher movies lately, and a lot of gangster movies, and a lot of movies where people just die, but even, even on screen, it, it's not up, up to standards. That's not death, or life, or anything, truly. It's gonna happen to me when I die. Are my people gonna write in, you know, a nice obituary, come to my funeral? I don't know if that's what I want. I don't know if I just want to be a phantom in somebody's life, or if I, I want to be something better. I, f if I want to be so, so loved and cherished that there's not enough room in the church for my funeral, for for my, for people. I don't think any human really understands death. I'm not the depressed who just crave it, or the scared, the frightened. Who who were repelled by it. Death is such a, a flimsy, easy material. It's, it's here, it's there. I've stopped catching cockroaches and throwing them in the toilet because I value my life so much. I'm a vegan because I don't want to be the, the murderer. I don't want to be the one who decides who dies, who lives. If it, if it was me, I think I'd want everybody to have a second chance at life. Third, fourth! I don't think anybody deserves to be dead. To lose this. This whatever it is. Even the worst of lives is better than no life at all. And I must sound like a lunatic with my crazy makeup and my my hair and my tears. Big crocodile tears. But life is so precious. I just... I don't know, I can't get it off my chest. I... It's incredible how many people I've known that have killed themselves, have crashed, heart failures. Are they, all, are they all happy with how they've lived? Do they even know if they're happy? Do they even know anymore? What happens when we die to become fan phantoms or we just cease? I think people create religions and an afterlife because they're afraid that they will just cease. There'll be no more. Our human mind can't comprehend a god big enough to create a whole universe. But we can't comprehend a god who would just let us and cease. There is no really big point to this video except to cherish your life. I'm trying to cherish your mind. However, not fun that that kind of is. 
I'm having times with Mook and, and, and Rain and Armando, sometimes my mom, my brother, my brother. I just... I just... I just... I am, and I... I hope... I don't know. I guess you can't get much more human than this. <laughs>